What's up, Wayne Baron here with Dark Effect Studios, and as you can tell on our website, we have the dreaded 404 page not found error. And as you look down here, it's trying to hunt for this file right here inside of our stuff folder. Now, this file I have deleted, and if you was on the live server, this right here I also deleted, and this was the page that you would see. I did not want people to see this page. It's very unprofessional. So what we can do is that we can either show them an error page which i would do later on but right now the only thing i want to do is that i want to reroute them to the main page so we're just going to come over here and then if we come and choose our this right here is running on my development system so these are all virtual directory and so we come over here to our error pages and our 404 right click on it or double click on it come down here put a forward slash click on ok right click edit features custom error pages forward slash redirect click ok and we get this error there was an error while performing this operation details lock violation click on ok click on cancel we're going to select our computer name click on the configuration editor then we can come on right over here to default path we want to right click on it come down here and choose unlock attribute and click apply come back over inside of our cs error pages right click edit and make sure it's that custom error pages Put a forward slash on it, come down here to redirect, and click on OK. Now, bring our page open, and it's going to the main page. So we need to change this. Since this is on our local system, this needs to be CS slash. And so, copy that, and then come back over, edit, paste. And now, if we go back, so we come over here and choose this file. And it should reroute us to our home page, and that's what we want. Whenever you're working inside of Windows 2000 all the way up to Windows 10, you can only create, well, I mean, you can create multiple websites. You come over here and you can add websites. But in most cases, it's best just to come over here and add a virtual directory. And since you're doing a virtual directory, then whenever you do your error pages, you have to add in the virtual directory, which is right here. So that's where you see the forward slash CS forward slash. Now let's come over here and we will take a look at what it looks like on a actual running live server. Okay, so this is on the actual live server. There's actually four servers running, web one, two, three, and four. Let's go ahead and just bring them down. So inside of this, as you can see, the only thing we had to do here is just put in a forward slash the same thing here just a forward slash so in actual server where you have websites and not virtual directories the only thing that you need is just that forward slash and we'll reroute them uh, or redirect them as we've got set in here a redirect back to the main page okay i am wayne baron this is dark Trek studios y'all have a good one now bye bye